Hello guys, TCL launched just another smart TV in Pakistan a couple of weeks ago. The name is TCL C8. The C series of TCL has always focused on creator sound, we know that. This new TCL C8 does exactly the same thing, but also with better picture quality. The TV comes in two variants. The one with 55 inch screen costs 127,900 rupees. The other one with 65 inch screen costs 185,900 rupees. TCL is not a new brand. It is currently the third largest TV brand globally. They are actually good and even have settled really well in the United States. The company has different lineup in the US. They usually use Roku TV platform there, but in most regions, they use Android TV platform. So here in Pakistan, you will get a TCL Smart TV with an Android operating system. And right here we have 55 inch TCL C8 for review. Let's get started. Looking over the box, you will get a sneak peek of the features. We'll talk about these features in a moment. First, let's open the box. But, if you're not interested in unboxing, you can just go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not done yet. And if you already have, I recommend you continue watching because I will tell you how to set it up on the desktop. Cutting it from top is easy. Just slide through the tape with a knife. Use some tough thing to unstaple the box. Items are well stacked on top. This is a part of desktop stand I believe. This one is too. And this is the main footrest. We will see how to bind these things in a moment. The wall mount comes with the package. It didn't come with the TCL p as we reviewed a couple of months ago. So it's good that you get it along with the TV. I'm sure going to use it in this review. Next we have packet with a couple of things. There's a remote. A very tiny remote. Exactly the same that we got with TCL P8 as previously. Other things also seem to be identical. The AV to 3.5mm adapter, a screw set for desktop mount, a standard power cord, and some paperwork. For removing the box, use help because it's wisely mentioned on the box for a reason. It's like the TV would run out of control if not packed this well. Usually, there is only top and bottom polystyrene padding. The soft foam padding is used to secure front and back. But this TV comes with polystyrene padding all around it. Like all the TVs, this one also has a shoulder label with the key features printed on it. Like TCL 4K Ultra HD Android TV, Dolby Vision, wide color gamut, Dolby Atmos with Onkyo sound system, built-in Netflix and YouTube. It's quite easy to put it on stand. Fix the two legs on the back with four screws. Then attach the single footrest below the legs. This stand is actually compact than the one with TCL P8S. It doesn't require a whole lot of white space. Let's start with the design. This TV literally impresses with its slick design. It's slim at the upper part, while the bottom part is bulky with all the engine inside. The front side is not fully bezel-less. Left, right and top bezels are thin, but at the bottom there is about 2 inch tall sound bar. On the right side, you can see Onkyo's branding. If you didn't know, Onkyo is a Japanese brand specializing in home cinema and audio equipment. TCL branding is in the middle. The soundbar is covered with a net fabric, which I guess is not reliable. A metal grill would have been better instead. The ports are on the right side of its back. There are two USB 2.0 ports, which are only 2.5 watt powered. There is a LAN port and three HDMI ports. A jack for analog TV cable input digital audio out, a headphone jack, and an AV in port. There's a power button right below the ports. It also works as a multifunctional navigation key. Alongside there is a microphone switch. Yes, this phone has a built-in microphone with far field control. Means you can control this TV directly with your voice, with no remote control. This TV has a full 4K Ultra HD resolution. That is 3840 by 2160 pixels. There's a spot for HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision. That means the display shows very rich colors, contrast, and brightness. Thanks to Y color gamut, this TV covers over 90% of DCI P3 color space. The frame rate of this display is still limited to 60 Hz. But the TV comes with MEMC technology that is motion enhancement and motion control. The basic purpose of this function is to remove motion blur and provide sharper picture for video content recorded on higher frame rate such as sports events. MEMC is TCL's proprietary software algorithm. 
like other manufacturers have their own algorithm for the same purpose. But let me tell you that this feature is not always welcomed, especially in movies which are purposely recorded on 24 frames per second. There are scenes in a movie that the makers want you to perceive as they create it. They don't want TVs to make it pretty smooth. Apart from perception of the visuals, this technique of artificially controlling motion may also introduce artifacts, degrading the picture quality. Well, mostly people don't care about the perception of the makers. They even may like the smoother motion. But what I can tell is that TCL has really improved its technique to maintain picture quality. Good job TCL. There were still situations when you don't want the over smoothness. You just need to go into picture menu and adjust the jitter reduction. Set it where it suits you. If we talk about sound quality, then this TV has incredible sound in this price. It comes with Onkyo's 2.2 sound bar that has two speakers and two subwoofers. Plus, this system supports Dolby Atmos. Well, this will work best on external surround system, but this TV alone did impress me with its sound. It's deep, loud, and clear. Bass was not that high, but the surround effect was appreciable. Coming over at software and interface. You know that it runs Android TV OS. You set it up like in a minute or two with your Android smartphone. If you want to know how, watch our P8S review. I'll provide a link in the description as well as on the corner above. I've also provided detailed information about Android TV platform in that review, so that will be good if you watch that. It's simple and effectively made for smart TVs. Not that you would be able to install everything on this TV that you would on your Android smartphone. It's rather a simple and trimmed down version of Android platform. Only the apps that are specifically built for TVs will work. You know why? Because they have to work with a remote control, not with the touch screen. But still many popular apps will be available through Google Play Store, specifically including media players such as MX Player and VLC. Netflix and YouTube are there to give you the most of this TV, where YouTube can show you the content stats of what you are watching. Netflix won't show you that. Again, check our P8S review for detail. Google Chromecast is built in so that you can cast spotted content from your Android phone to TCLC8. There's TCL's built-in app Tcast for the purpose. But that's not important. You can just pick the phone and send anything to the big screen. Then the Google Assistant is also there. With TCL's far field technology, you can just speak to operate the TV. And with built in microphone, the TCL C8 also supports the command OK Google to activate the Google Assistant. Well, I really struggled with that as this unit failed to do it. See that LED below the TCL logo? This should actually stay on once the microphone is activated, but it doesn't. This could be a problem with this specific unit because I certainly searched for the issue and found none on the internet. So I really couldn't test the famous Hey Google or OK Google command. Otherwise the far field control worked flawlessly. Last but not the least, performance. This TV is powered by a quad core CPU with the four cores of Cortex A55. There's a Mali 470 GPU alongside and 2GB RAM is coupled with 16GB internal storage. It runs a few games very well on board, but this TV is not really for that purpose. You should be using external sources for gaming. Overall performance of this TV was good. Transitions were smooth mostly, but when TV is busy doing some serious job like playing high resolution content such as full 4K, it seemed to be fully occupied. Like navigation or settings menu was totally screwed, but things also get smoother by time. You just need to keep watching. These issues also get fixed by software updates, so hope TCL would do that. Personally, I really enjoyed watching this TV a lot. Most importantly, it impressed with its display and sound. I can easily recommend it for this price. But not if you don't want a smart TV at all. If you don't need these smart apps and services, you should go for a non-smart TV and save some more cash. For TCL, I would advise them to bring a 15-inch variant of this TV. That will be very good. For now, that's it. If you liked this review of TCL C8, share this to friends. Also ask your questions below in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel to support and hit the bell icon for notifications about the future videos. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.